guys, what is going on? Blossom is back and welcome back to another episode of Top Drives. Now, I know there are a lot of questions to be asked. Number one, why am I not wearing a shirt? Well, because I am heated, bro. I am absolutely mad. This is an absolute rant of a video. I know I've been making a lot of rants, but that really just shows the climate of the game right now and how I feel about it. But obviously, if I still rant, it means I still care because there's still passion in my videos. You know what I mean? But before we get into it, like I said, why am I not wearing a top? Well, like I said, I'm heated. I feel like it. And in like that one song, in that one song, by Kanye West about the fellas in Paris. It gets the people going, but YouTube, it's okay. I'm wearing pants. I'm wearing pants. Pants. I'm wearing pants, okay? I'm wearing pants. So don't, don't, don't worry about that. But anyway, it's also a really hot day and um, my fan is like on the other side of the room and I don't want to... It's fine! Anyway, yeah, I, I am ranting. I, I was talking in my server the other day with Uncle and some of the other guys, and if you want to join, feel free to join the Patreon server. Link in the description below, join the family. Um, yeah, we were talking about kind of like my sentiment towards the game and how my videos have gotten more edgy. Like, I'm a lot more savage in my videos nowadays compared to, you know, three years ago or four years ago. Like Uncle said, man, it's a natural evolution of things, but honestly, like, you know, the thing that kind of pisses me off is that we've played this game, and Hodge even made a video, a five-year anniversary. You would think when a game is half a decade old, they would kind of understand the game, but they don't. Like, look, that's why today's tiers are very specially named because I have horror show, I have immortalizing car. Honestly, to be honest, like I, I could do so many more tiers of everything that was bad. Like the great outdoors was a piece of crap. That one Volkswagen final that lives rent free in my head, but you know, it's uh, for all the wrong reasons, it's still stuck in my head. Like we've had so many horrible requirements and Hodge doesn't seem to learn from that. Why do we keep getting crappy requirements like horror show and immortalizing garbage? like this one that I'm gonna talk about today. Why? Do we, does, does, does Hudge actually get revenue? Are people actually paying for these packs? I wanna see the numbers. I wanna see like Hudge's revenue from a challenge like Immortalizing Carbon and how much money they made from that or maybe even a horror show and compare that to the Peugeot Pikes Peak final requirements because that one they obviously made bank. That was a great price car with great requirements with a great car pull. The Venom GT Spider was a really good event. If you guys don't remember, that was Amalfi Coast rear wheel drive or Amalfi Coast two-seater something like that like that was also really cool um so they, they can do some good stuff i don't know why they make it uh that pisses me off here's the thing i'm naming this title no matter what i'm naming the title of the video immortalized in garbage or immortalized in trash or immortalized in shit or immortalized in bullshit whatever and some people might think oh blossom that's a bit rude because this entire tag is about honoring people like these like immortalizing carbon is because like the people names are are in this in these cars right like elise uh, uh gallardo uh i think like pagani morgan like all of these are, are are actual people they founded the car so show them some respect blossom why are you roasting them yes that occurred that that occurred to me when i was thinking about this video and here's the thing i'm not disrespecting these people Hutch are disrespecting these people. I'm just saying, if you wanted to make immortalizing carbon and actually have cars that meant something that were actually good, that people would want to collect and buy, Aston Martin was founded by Lionel Martin, and there's not a single Aston Martin here, right? Mercedes Benz was founded by Carl Benz. There's not a single Mercedes here. Chevrolet was founded by Louis Chevrolet. There's not a single Chevrolet. Dodge is literally founded by two brothers named Dodge, and there's not a single Dodge here and then like talking about oh maybe like they're only adding you know um the the the, the, the model name is named after people like like adam or or elise or, or some crap like that or, or miura well then i say to you where the bloody hell is the mclaren senna i know that this pack you know I, when i judge it there are no prize cars I, I did put the svj in mistake um and i know that there are no prize cars but when you look at the entire tag the mclaren senna is still not in here like the senna like literally senna is named after one of the greatest f1 drivers of all time and he he isn't being honored in this tag, but some bloke 
out of Britain that makes cars look like my asshole as like what a million cars in here this is a blatant freaking blatant move from Hutch they know that cars like these Lamborghinis cars like these Morgans this is how I perceive things okay and I think it's really true they probably have statistics to see who collects what what cars have the most usage what cars are sold the most what cars are used the least and they take the cars that you know people use the least because they know oh because people don't use these it's because probably they don't have them they feel them away so let's make a pack where we need where people need to get cars that they don't have so they need to open the pack and they think they're smart that way because they think people will open but no i'm telling you right now don't don't the pack is fucking shit bro don't even bother every single morgan is absolutely garbage and anyway so like i said I'm not disrespecting these people. They are. They had every opportunity to put in the best Aston Martins, the best Chevrolets. When was the last time you saw a C7 Grand Sport being used for anything? That could have been in here, huh? A DB11, um, not a DB11, a DB, what is it, the DB9, whatever, yeah, no, a DB11, yeah. Um, and you know, a Vantage, like when was the last time you saw those cars being used? I get it, the Vantage. 2019, which is a 2019 final, but come on, none of the best winning hands actually had the Vantage in it anyway. So that would have been a good time for those cars to have a time to shine, but no, Hutch wanted to do the worst of the worst because they wanted their players to suffer. I mean, why else would they choose just a bunch of Morgans and Gallados? Like, it's not even Huracans, it's not even Aventadors, it's Gallados, which in real life are really freaking cool, but in the game, absolutely trash tier, bro. Okay, anyway, let me get into it. Let's review this pack. It's already bad. It, all, the objective of, of this video is just to show you how bad everything actually is. And ironically, we're gonna start pretty good. Um, the Alpha Julia TZ2. It's, 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 it's alright. It's electric. I, I thought electric Teslas was okay. Like, yeah, I don't like electric cars, but that's a personal problem. Like, I just don't like electric cars in terms of like the carpool and the performance that the cars provided to the game. Electric Teslas was actually alright. So that's the okay tier. Okay, that's the okay tier. Um, immortalizing common is bad. Don't get me wrong. But the only reason why I'm not putting it last is because I don't think anything is worse than horror show to be honest. Um, the Renault Clio is alright. So this is where I'm gonna show you sometimes obviously clue is pretty good it's competitive for an iq52 you know it's competing against some 53s and 54s and it, it really is not bad um the john cooper works is a different story however the fact that it's you know two rq higher than all these cars over here and it's still trading blows against a bunch of rq52s is a little bit of a cause for concern um, so because of that, I think the Clio is okay. I'm gonna put it in electric excellence tier. It's not too bad. Use of the motorsport tag. I think they actually took it away, which is pretty nice. Uh, but that being said, for the mini, I'm gonna put it in immortalizing carbon. It's still not horrendous, but it's still really honestly, it's it's not bad. Because the thing is, immortalizing carbon. The tier, the name tier, I think it's actually as bad as Horror Show. I need to put both of them together. And I'll change this to like, I'm not, I, what was, what was, the Great Outdoors. Yeah, the Great Outdoors was, was bad, but not as bad as Immortalized and Trash and Horror Show. I'm going to put these two together. That, that seems about right. Um, moving on, the Atom. Yeah, the Atom's good. I'll put it in Venom GT Spider Rex. Obviously, the, um... What is it? The, the value of the Atom did drop a little bit because of the Amalfi Coast Fiats that were added to the game, but then the Atom is still medium ground clearance and you know, it's still pretty good. I'll put it in Venom Spider. Uh, all right, next up, we're gonna have the Giulia Veloce. Now the Giulia Veloce, it's not too bad again. I mean, uh, we're actually off to a pretty good start for a pretty crappy pack. Um, for an RQ50, it's relatively competitive compared to cars above an RQ. But then again, we don't have the times for the Ford FPV GS for the car park and the indoor karting. So we may be able to assume that the FPV might be able to be the car park. But then you look at the SAS 4291, a 4591. Handling is really, really important on car parks. So I think that even if we had the time for the 2334 Ford FPV GS, I think that the Julia would actually still be better. Um, indoor karting is a different story. That being said, though, it is relatively competitive. I think it's an okay car. It fits a very small niche, which is a low ground clearance saloon. There are not a lot of cars there, and that's why in that comparison, there are only four cars or five cars or whatever. I already, I already forgot. Um, but yeah, it's okay. It's all right. Uh, the Julia, Julia the TCR. It's, it's, a, it's a, okay. I think it's, oh, I think it's average, but. I think everybody wants to put it in like, you know, trash tier because it just is a very big disappointment. The problem with the Julieta TCR was that it had this like wonder kid, um, 
a stereotype. Like it had this like Martin Odegaard at Real Madrid, like he's going to be the next Cristiano Ronaldo, but then he ends up being somewhat of a flop, but not, he's not anymore because he's a beast at Arsenal now, but you get what I mean. Or what's the other guy, the American soccer player that everyone thought was going to be absolutely amazing and now he just, I think he retired from soccer or something. I can't remember, but yeah, the, the Julieta kind of suffers from that wonder kid stereotype, stereotype where everyone thought he was going to be the next boss of choice, myself included, and it just ended up losing to a bunch of 64s. So I don't think it's bad, but it definitely isn't like good. And I don't think it's horrible either. I just think that, you know, once again, because of that stereotype, people think that it's terrible. It's not terrible. It's just not good. It's just eh. Um, the prototypo is, yeah, I mean, that's amazing. Blossom choice, one of the best cars in the game. And the mirrors are decent. So the mirrors, I'm going to say that the S and the SV are both Venom GT Spider X. I mean, one is obviously more expensive than the other in terms of RQ, but rightly so, because one is a slightly better performing car than the other. Both of them do not deserve the highest rank because at the end of the day, the Charger 3 is elite. So yeah, I mean, I think they're okay. Their top speeds are all right. Um, next up is a Lotus Elise Cup, Cup 250. I'm gonna give that uh, Pikes Peak, a final Rex, kind of like a low Derek Heiser kind of thing. Um, obviously, it isn't gonna be like a Zenus, but the Xenus, <laughs> by every right, is just like a god tier. So because of that, I think that the Lotus Elise only barely losing to the Xenus is still a good thing. I'm going to put it in the highest tier. Like I said, this is a really good start for what is a very terrible pack. All right, Lotus Elise, 111R. Yeah, the great outdoor. That's horrible. One of the worst Lotuses in the game, honestly. Um... I think the biggest thing that the 111R suffers from is that the RQ is way too high. 95 handling when you max it out for a Lotus at RQ56 is terrible. It's embarrassing. So yeah, because of that, it's great outdoors. All right, all right, all right, it's time, it's time. Every single butt car. Oh, actually, no, we have the, the John Cooper works. The John Cooper works with their Kaiser. All right, now every single butt car. <laughs> oh man, I freaking hate Morgans. The thing about the Morgans, right, is like, you gotta choose a disability. Like, if you look bad, at least perform well. If you perform bad, at least look good. These cars look bad and they perform like, like crap. Okay, so this is every single Morgan that you can get from the pack, all right? Every single one. Now, let me begin. First of all, let's talk about the twisty section. We have the twisty section and then we have the drag section, right? So first of all, let's talk about the twisty section. The Porsche 911 GT3. I'm gonna put in the 233 times, and as you can see, the Porsche is not arguably, but it is the better car. Yes, the Aero Super Sport is still the better car for the hairpin, indoor karting, and karting circuit, but the Porsche is better on the car park, the G-Force, the slalom, the twisty circuit, twisty road, fast circuit, fast circuit rolling, even on the one mile drag, etc., etc., right? So, in my mind, the Porsche is the better car, so this puts the Porsche in A team and the Morgan in B team. And when I mean Morgan, I mean the two best Morgans. We're not even talking about the even worse Morgans that get, you know, below. Like, these are just completely irrelevant at this point. So, Porsche, A team, Morgan, B team. Still, still not too bad, right? Still, still not too bad, but that's the thing. The Porsche isn't even the best car here. Now I'm gonna bring in the Alpha 4C. And the Alpha 4C, at, at this point, none of the Morgans are the best at anything anymore. Um, the Alpha is now the A team, the Porsche is now the B team, the Morgan is now the C team, okay? Still average, C team is like the bare minimum. Oh wait, I'm not even done. Now I'm gonna put in the Elise Cup 250, which surprise, surprise, is also in the same tag as all the fucking Morgans, right? So now the Lotus is A team, the Alpha is B team, the Porsche is C team, and the Morgan is D team. It's getting worse and it's getting worse, but wait, there's more. Now I'm gonna put it in the Fucking Zenus! The Zenus is A team, the Elise is B team, the Alpha is C, the Porsche is D, the Morgan is now E tier. It is my fifth choice car for the freaking G Force and the hairpin and the twisty. It's terrible. But wait, I'm not done. Cause now we put in the Maxi. Yes, the Peugeot Maxi. Oh, just end it. Just end it. At this point, the Peugeot is A team, the Zenus is B team, the Elise is C team, the Alpha is D team, the Porsche is E team, and the Morgan is where it belongs to be in F T. 
here. It is a failure of a car. Why the hell? One carbon fiber is $15. Why would you spend $15 to get an RQ64 that is what? The sixth choice. Bro, it's fucking shit. Anyway, that's just a twisty section. Now let's talk about the drag section. Right? So, I'm gonna put in the spiker. Yeah, you see where this is going. The spiker has already beaten the Morgans absolutely everywhere. But we're not done over there, because I'm gonna put in the M5. And the M5 is even better. I mean, I could have made, I could have added more drags here. Like, I could have put in, like, the Tamora. I think even putting in the freaking Charger 3. Um, the Charger 3 would have probably taken some wins of the Morgans as well. Like, it's... It's depressing, bro. Yeah, it, de it definitely does. It has more. It, it has a decent shade of green, which is you know brighter than the Morgan green. So, and the Charger is 53 RQ. By the way, I re <laughs> I rest my case. Every single Morgan is absolutely hot garbage. I am not showing any empathy for any single one. All right, moving on to epics now. We're, we're starting off good with the Julias. The Julias are truly like the saving grace. I would say that the GTA, definitely like top tier. The Quadrifoglio, Venom tier, you know, still very, very, very good. Um, next up is the a -Barf 131. I mean, it's... Bleh. Uh, the Gallardo is Electric Excellence, it's it's average tier, uh, I'll show you some time comparisons over here. Um, the Evora is just better on the twisty stuff, uh, DB11 is obviously better on twisty circuit, happy and road, but that is one RQ higher. Um, so yeah, the Gallardo is alright, it's, it's okay, it's not good, it's not bad, as you can see, I think it deserves to be a 76, it's the very middle of the pack. Um, obviously the BMW M4 surprisingly actually beats uh, the Gallardo and the Drags as well, so that's another one. Um, it really goes to show that the CC100 actually is... Very terrible now, which is kind of sad because the CC100 used to be one of the best epics in the entire game. It used to be 79 RQ, it used to be Blossom Choice, it used to be amazing one. You know, at 98 uh, handling, 100 MRA, it used to be the best of the best, but now ain't that much anymore. Gallardo's okay, it's okay. Uh, moving on, this guy out of though, this one's all garbage, I'm not even gonna talk about that. Uh, this is, I'll just put it in the PSA, it's a price car. Uh, I'm not gonna judge it. Uh, Lowe's is at least Sprint 220, again, you know, just why would you want to upgrade an RQ70? That's another problem about this pack, there are a lot of low range epics, which is really annoying, because you know what, exactly what Hutch will do. They will make the RQ, like, really low, where the best cars you could possibly use are probably, like, you know, an RQ70 at most, RQ 65 RQ 66 there, there I feel like in this challenge there is gonna be some way shape and form where Hutch is gonna force you to use a low RQ epic to get through a level which I think is just absolutely terrible because these cars are horrendous the Aero Coupe is just a horror show the Ghibli it's a horror show um, the Countryman is a horror show uh, just every I, this one's okay I'm gonna bring it up a little bit more a part of me actually wants to put in electric excellence because 90 handling four wheel drive is okay, but I'm gonna put in great outdoors, maybe a high great outdoors. Um, the spiker is just terrible as well. Okay, the spiker is not bad if you max it out. It's one of those cars where it's okay if you max it out, but like it's like the, the question is who bloody hell wants to max it out because it's an RQ65 epic, you know? Like who wants to spend you know 15 epics for a 65 when you can spend 15 epics for a 79? You know what I mean? So the spiker, I'll be honest, is actually okay if you max it out 322. It's actually not that bad, but. Why would you want to max it out? It's 65. It's almost an ultra. You know what I mean? All right. Time to, time to go again. Lambos. Um, all right. So now let's talk about the, well, the, the Lamborghinis. Okay. There's, there's, there's no easy way to talk about it. So Lamborghini is 91, 91. I'm going to put it up against the GTR at 111. And as you can see, against the GTR, still relatively competitive, right? Um, you know, the 91s, they still look good. Uh, but the GTR now is the best car for the hairpin and the karting. So, you know, still, it looks like the, the Gallardos look good here, but you need to realize that the GTR is 89, the Gallardos are 91. So there's a two RQ difference, and the GTR is already winning some tracks. Now, we bring in the track edition, and the track edition changes things up even more, as you can see. The track edition is one RQ. One RQ cheaper than both Gallardos, and it's already better in the hairpin, the inner karting, the karting circuit, the twisty circuit, the twisty road. Yikes. 
All right, now I'm gonna bring in the Porsche, this one right here. And why I'm bringing in this Porsche, mainly because it is the better car on the drag. Now, this is very, very sad because the Porsche 911 is a terrible dragster. It has 77 MRA. These Lamborghinis, especially the Gallardo 570, has 96 MRA. Yet, the car with 77 MRA is still better on the quarter and a half. That is depressing. But we're not done there. Now I put in a 911 Turbo. And the 911 Turbo is now even better. You see what I mean? It's the same thing with the Morgan situation. You got the, the Lambos were A team, then they became B team and C team and D team with every car that gets better and better and better. And now for the grand finale, the KO shot. Boom. Bye. Done. The Quasar is 89 RQ. It's 2 RQ cheaper than the Lamborghinis. Okay, to be fair to the Lamborghinis in this regard, the Quasar is completely underrated. It should be higher. But at that point, like I said, look at all the cars above it. The, 9, the 911 is 91. The 3.8 is 91. The Track Edition is 90. The GTR 89. And all of these cars are relatively competitive, if not very competitive, if not more competitive than the Gallardos. They suck. They suck, bro. So yes, every single Gallardo I'm putting in hot garbage tier. I don't care. I have no remorse, no empathy. I think the only one that was relatively decent was like this one. Like it was a little bit better, like maybe great outdoors, but like, it's just terrible. I, if I unpack this as a legendary, I would sell. Like, I, I, or I would fuse. Like, I wouldn't keep it. That's that's how little I think of it. The arrow is garbage. And then we're left off with the two Paganis. Kind of like your relative saving graces. The Huayra Roadster is uh, Pike's Peak. And I think that the Huayra is Venom GT. Actually, since it's got a big RQ cut, I think it deserves to be up there because it is a pretty good, uh, it brings good value for its RQ now. So yeah, in the end, dude, Pike's garbage. And I feel like I'm kind of being nice putting the Mura in Venom GT. Like, because it's so close in RQ to the SV, I would do anything to just fit in the SV anyway. So maybe I'll, I'll move this down here. Um, yeah, dude, it's, it's freaking terrible. This package was terrible. I, I don't know, like I said, I, it started off as a rant because how many times have I made these kind of videos? I know you guys enjoy watching the rants, but how many times have I been just so genuinely, passionately pissed off about the fact that Hutch doesn't get like their players. Like the least they could have done was, you know, there is a very simple way to make these Lamborghinis better for me to not put them in hot garbage tier. And that is the issue that all four wheel drives are facing. They need to go down in RQ. If all these Lamborghinis were cheaper in RQ, then definitely they would be way better. Like if that Gallardo first generation was a 79 Epic, that would actually be a pretty banger Epic. And then I would say that it's actually a pretty good car. You know, same thing for the 91. Like uh, actually this 91 is better than this one actually. So it's the same thing for these 91 Gallardos. If these 91 Gallardos became 89 Gallardos, then I would see more value in them because they would perform where they are. You know what I mean? Don't go to Harvard if you had a 2.8 GPA in high school. You don't belong there, I'm sorry, it doesn't fit. And right now these Lamborghinis, they, they, they've got legacy privilege. They, the only reason they're in Harvard is not because they're smart, it's because their parents went to Harvard. You know what I mean? Like, it's stupid, it's actually stupid. The Morgans, they can't really be saved. I mean, maybe like bring them down in RQ, then it'll be a little bit better. Yeah, I guess that would be the only way really. But again, you know, it's a terrible pack. Please don't open it, please do not. Like boycott the pack, bro. Do not give uh, this company money for this. It's terrible. Unless you're like the one in 10,000th person, if you're, unless you're one in every 100,000 people, or you actually like the Morgan. Chances are you probably need braces too. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Remember to stay safe, wash your hands, and wash them out. Peace. Bro, this song just makes me so happy. <laughs> me too. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got so a jet box back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies. They so fine. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got a jet box back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies. They so fine. 
Sit back, relax in my Bonneville Pontiac Hold tight all night, cruise to Jacksonville